disappoint, uh, a disappointing result, but a performance we can certainly be proud of this evening. Yeah, how is one supposed to feel when your boys have emptied the tank? I felt tonight that Barnet Football Club had 11 warriors with the dagger between their teeth tonight. Re they refused to give in. I, you know, I was overcome with how they kept going. You know, I think, I believe what we've achieved over the last two games, I mean, that was better than Saturday. No question mm -hmm. about it. And I'm, um, do, do you know, every man uh, just gave everything for Barnet Football Club and all the players around him. So I'm supposed to be on my knees and I'm supposed to be floored, but I'm not. There's a side of me that's really jubilant about what the lads have taken on board, what we've done with them, and, and, you, and, and, and performed and, and carried that out. We're playing against one of the top teams in the league who are chucking money at it left, right and centre. You know, we, we were struggling for players tonight at the end of the day, you know. But everyone, all the subs, they're all eager to get on. And they're all, they're all together in that changing room. I'm telling you, you've got a group of boys who are together. Really, really together. And that, I find that really exciting. To the point, this. Well, we gave, we gave Stockport County the fright of their lives. You know, they're, they're, they're one of the big boys of the league now because of, of the resources available to them you know they brought the boy in Madden straight in for big fee and should I say dare say big wages but hey these boys out there everyone who watched this game would have seen that that the you know we had to sort things out at half time and, and that's what half times are about half times about not about a manager going and commentating about this that and that and what happened it's about the team and the manager resolving any issues that were going on. And there were issues that needed to be resolved. And we resolved all those issues. I felt we were the better team in the second half. They looked very dangerous, of course. But we have got more ball into, the, into their box and into any opposition's box than Barnet have done for, well, since I've been watching them this season. They got the ball into the box and we had bodies getting into the box. <laughs> it was it was really exciting to to see see that from a Barnet side because I've sat in the stands over the over the weeks and like I said I stopped coming the last two get two get two games I stopped coming because you know I couldn't take any longer but to see Barnet back doing what they're doing you know great I loved it as you said it was it was a great team performance I just want to touch on one individual I thought Harry Taylor was magnificent tonight I, well I just said to Harry I said Harry. I, I said to him, you know, I just looked him in the eyes and I said, Harry, that was awesome tonight. Second half, I mean, we had to sort out some problems because he was, I asked him to do something that he'd not done before, but I thought the boy was awesome. I, it's, it's certainly his best game that I've seen for a long, long time. He's back now from, you know, he was always a player at Barnet with potential. Harry was a seven out of, out of 10. You know, whenever I've seen him, good old Harry, Right back, centre half, midfield, seven out of ten. Harry, hey, he was a nine out of ten, nearly ten out of ten tonight. So the kids come on, great. Let's touch on the young goalkeeper, Eamon Azay. It's only his fourth appearance in the senior team, 19 years old. Thought he had a good game. Yeah, listen, we <laughs> we conceded after nine minutes. You know, hey, that's an improvement on Saturday, for sure. <laughs> but we conceded after nine minutes, and the kid could have been on the floor on his knees, but. You know, he was, and he made some good saves, and he showed showed real composure against some of strong physical players with, with big reputations out there. Hey, the boy has got a future, and the boy behind him, you know, who's, who's on the bench tonight. Two two good goalkeepers there that the club have got in the in the, you know, ready and waiting now. Just lastly, do you think the last two performances, even more so tonight, has rekindled the pride back into this football club? Look, those players in there are chomping at the bit for Saturday. Chomping at the bit. 
they can't wait for the next game. Look, it's... You know, people could think I'm, I'm talking nonsense here, but can there be pride in, in, a, in, a, a, in defeat? And yes, because it's about performance. And they are proud of themselves. They're disappointed, don't get me wrong. They're not smiling away out in, in that changing room. But I'll tell you what they're doing. They're sitting there with their heads up. There's no one got their heads between their knees. Barnet have been the punch bag. I've said that before. They've been the punch bag of this league. And they're not anymore. And the lads know that. And they're refusing to accept that. Thank you very much, Paul.